and contouring and yeah one of my subscribers suggested that I should do one so this highlighting and contouring routine I'm only using a drugstore products that are easily accessible they are in clicks they are in the scam and Fushini and other pharmacies so if you do want to purchase them you can and yeah I hope you guys love this video don't forget to subscribe comment and like suggest any other video that you would like for me to do down in the comment section and yeah enjoy I'm starting off with my Maybelline multi-use concealer um, in the shade 10 under my eyes I'm applying it under my eyes my chin my cupid's bow my forehead and the bridge of my nose i'm then going to use a small blending brush to blend out that concealer and i'm blending upwards i'm using a brush um, because i do not color correct my dark circles so it gives me more of a fuller coverage you can use a beautiful blender for this part but i just prefer using a brush to blend out the concealer i'm then using my la girl pro concealer in the shade beautiful bronze you can use a darker shade but i just prefer this shade because it gives me more of a softer contour so the main reason for contouring is just to add dimension to your face, to add um, shadows to your face because you've already applied your foundation and concealer and your face is going to look um, bland and just so plain. So I'm using my beauty blender to blend out the beautiful bronze concealer and making sure that everything is seamless. I'm then going to use my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade um, Pure Beige. I'm just simply brightening up my face. I'm using my fan to dry out that um, concealer. I'm using my Beauty Blender to blend the concealer. It is a very bright under eye, a very bright concealer because I do love a bright under eye. Um, you don't have to go this bright with the concealer. I'm then going to use the blending brush from Ilia to blend out the harsh lines. I'm using my RCMA No Color Powder to um, set those areas that I applied the concealer from Ilia. And I'm not baking, I'm just setting the face. I'm setting my face with that powder. Then I'm using my LA Girl Pearl Powder. I'm not sure which shade it is. Um, I will list it in the description bar. But I'm just going to set all over my face with this powder. Those areas um, that I applied my foundation. I'm then going to use my Revlon Color Stay Powder in the shade Mocha. I'm setting my beautiful bronze concealer that I applied from earlier. Now every liquid and every cream that you apply to your face you want to make sure that you set it with a powder i am adding dimension to my face i'm adding shadow to my face so yeah you just want to set those areas i'm then going to powder contour my nose um, I use powder because it gives me more of a softer contour. I do not um, apply cream because I feel like it's so harsh to apply cream and then um, applying your powder. I'm then going to use my sleek blush. I'm not sure which shade it is. Um, I will list it and yeah. It's a beautiful, beautiful blush. It has shimmer in it. So if you don't have highlighter, this is the blush for you. I'm going to use my highlighter and crown my canopy from Wet n Wild. It's very affordable. I've had pen. It is my OG and yeah, I'm always grabbing it. 
so yeah i'm just going to set i'm going to highlight i'm going to apply that highlighter um on my cheeks my chin the bridge of my nose the tip of my nose under my brow i absolutely love love this highlighter After that, I'm going to take that sleek blush and I'm just going to apply it again just um, so that my face can be seamless. Then I'm using my LA Girl Shimmer Spray. I'm going to set my face. I'm going to apply it all over my face and this is how it's looking and this is the final look.